Hello and welcome to the channel that is mostly dedicated about broken or fractured humerus or perhaps some other bones that are broken that uh, rehabilitation might be similar to that one. So in this video I would like to go through the exercises that you will try or will need to undergo to right after the surgery. So you're just released uh, to the home, maybe the same day or probably the day after the surgery. So you see, I had a surgery here. I was, re I was released the day after. And uh, then you're worried, what do I need to do? What will happen? You'll receive some papers from the hospital that you need to do some exercises with fingers or wrist or perhaps elbow. And uh, I would like to share my experience. So uh, I returned home with a sling, as you see, this really great fashion item that I need to wear for a couple of weeks now, or perhaps a month. We'll see about the healing. But what is really important, uh, the, the first thing to do uh, when you got home is try to kind of remove, remove the stiffness of both the elbow and the wrist and the fingers are uh, you know your shoulder still needs to be uh, kind of a immobile you don't need to move or you do you can't move it and you should not move it at all so some of the first exercises and you can do that a lot of times during the day are you know wrist or like strengthening the fingers here and expanding the fingers Strengthening the fingers, expanding the fingers. So try really expand a lot and then, you know, strengthen the, uh, the wrist or the fingers again a lot. This will help in a couple of different manners. First, you will uh, lose the swelling, not immediately, but in a matter of days or weeks, in the elbow. You will probably have the uh, swelling in the elbow or in the arms. As you can see here, my arms are now very much swelled and my fingers, you see the normal hand and you see this hand. So it's blue, it's bruised and it's swelled and that's normal. And the same thing is happening with the elbow. So my elbow is very much swollen. I'll show the pictures either now above here during the video or after the video. So you will see how it's very much swollen. That's normal. So the exercises. Do you do these exercises two, three, maybe four or five times a day? So fingers, wrist, fingers, wrist. Then again, you can do the following exercises in the sling or you can put your hand like that remove the sling if you feel comfortable if you see something that's hurting uh, again wear the sling and do not do that exercise so you can do this 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 then clenching then clenching more and even more and again like this. So you can do these exercises in the first day, day two, day three, perhaps the whole week, depending on the, how much does it hurt you somewhere there. But you need to stretch your fingers and your wrist. That's very important because it will get stiff and you will get even more swelling here. Uh, additional exercises that you can do in the sling or without a sling, you know, just the wrist rotation. Luckily, I can do that. Perhaps you still are not able to do that. Perhaps you are even, you know, you can do much more. Depends on the injury, depends on the surgery, depends on everything. So just do something like that. And then, depending on the, how uh, good are you feeling, uh, one of the things that really got very stiff 
during the uh, rehabilitation after the surgery or without a surgery is the elbow so you need to do passive range of motion so prom of the elbow uh, you can do that of course only without a sling so i'm not standing so it will be perhaps harder for me to show you i'm mostly doing that uh, while sitting on my couch or on my chair but uh always especially in the week one try to um try to do that with a passive range of motion so you kind of are helping yourself with the other hand okay i'll now remove my sling even though it's not it's not easy for me and you will see that with your sling also but let's try it let's try it and let's see how it how it goes now i'm standing as i mentioned i'm mostly doing that with while i'm sitting down and sorry my cat is now pronouncing different voices he is i have a beautiful cat that is right couple of meters behind me here okay he's done so i mostly need to do kind of a hold my hand because i cannot hold it properly like that but what you can do is you can just hold your hand and do passive range of range of motion with if it hurts it will hurt very lightly, but if it hurts too much, you need to you need to stop. So you can do passive range of motion. The best thing uh, and how to do that would be maybe on the bed or perhaps while sitting down. Because as you can see, I still cannot do full range of motion. I can do contraction completely, but I cannot extend my elbow. So I'm still holding it. So it's like that. It's like not fully. And as you can see, my arms, I'll show now, are very much bruised. See this? And fingers also. So don't worry about that. If you can still feel your finger and your fingers, doctor says that this is normal bruising is normal because first bruising was here and it goes there and then it goes there and then by the gravity it will go down there it can take for a couple of weeks and mostly those are the exercises that you need to do for the week one we will still not go to the uh, you know circular motion of the shoulder i will not do any shoulder exercises for probably two weeks so, you know, something like that. This will probably go and happen in the week three or four, depending on my uh, healing process. For now, just remember, do the wrist as much as you can. Spread the finger, join the fingers. Spread the fingers, but really forcefully. And if you feel any pain, try not to do it. And also, do this. If you can if you can do it just like slightly do it slightly because elbow is very stiff like organ let's put it like that and if you don't move it if you don't do anything with the forearm and with elbow and it's constantly in the sling for two weeks you will have problem even if you like put your uh, healthy arm in a sling and uh, you know hold it like that for a week you will again have problems with your elbow with your movement and everything of course i had a surgery big surgery and it was in a sling for a couple of days and it is in a sling for most of the time during my waking and sleeping hours but whenever i can i'll try to do this motion motion with fingers motion with uh, with wrists 
and uh, if you do that often enough you should be fine so those are the exercises for first couple of days and perhaps for the first week depending how you feel then you will uh, uh, you will progress and again we are here if you are watching this channel we are probably experiencing the same thing the same pain the same problem you will see my progress you will be able to see your progress and hopefully we will all progress to the full healness so that we will be able to raise our arms and strengthen our biceps and triceps and everything like we did before cheers have a good day hopefully this will help this is and will be helpful bye bye